Hi guys, today I have something cool to show you and it is live graphs in the run window. So here you see the gauges as you're used to, analog and digital gauges and you can swap between them as you know, uh, but now there is another option, you can uh, do live graph. So here we see the torque in a live graph. This one is set up to do 0 to 200 and you do that, you set that up here. Um, 0 to 200 as you can see here, but you can also do auto scale if we do that you will just see the noise and uh, as we can see here there is uh, some noise between say 0 0.1 and, uh, 0 and minus 0 0.1 newton meter um, this setup can measure a thousand newton meters so just to get the noise in in, uh, in perspective here is a super low right I think you agree to that uh, if I touch the load cell now, this is what happens. Uh, it goes up and down uh, like that. Um, you may want uh, to, especially if this is done in a when you do steady state tuning, which is uh, if you want to, to take a look at the, the torque over some time, you will want to make the graph bigger, for example, like this. You can put any gauge to uh, live graph mode. Here we can do, let's say, the, the brake, just to do a small demonstration of that. Let's say we hold the brake, it's in manual mode now. We hold the brake at 1500 uh, RPM and we start uh, increasing the, uh, the RPM and you can see it uh, as you would expect, the, the brake uh, goes up and down like that. Here you could um, look for oscillations, for example, or, or generally things that you, you wouldn't expect. Uh, and uh, that's sometimes easier to see in a graph than, than uh, in just a, a digital or, or analog uh, gauge like this. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we can do another thing that I can show you. And that is if you go now to noise filtering, we have two different types of noise filtering. There is the, the standard uh, graph noise filtering, which is of the results. Uh, at the end the graphs that you get, uh, 3 is a good number or, so, or thereabouts. And then there is the noise uh, filtering for the gauges. So here you can experiment a little bit. Um, if you do 10, it's going to be slightly less noisy. It's going to hold, um, uh, it's going to be slightly slower too. So it depends on, on uh, you know, if I just touch the load cell now you can see that it's it wasn't as sharp as before it's still you know way sharper for for most applications but you can experiment a little bit it will be um, you want to see some uh, some trends a little bit uh, you don't want a millisecond accurate uh, millisecond resolution when you do uh, uh, engine tuning so uh, 10 may be a good number um, you could also do zero obviously uh, if you want, I don't really think that's uh, useful uh, for many <laughs> applications, but you can if you want. Um, and it's going to be super fast. And if I touch the load cell now, it's going to be, you see, it's super, super fast. Up to you to decide. Um, it's slightly more noise than, of course. So there's a trade off between how fast you want the gauges to be and, uh, and how, how much uh, filtering you want. That's what I wanted to show. I uh, hope you like it.